You nice came through with their 7x5 glueless yaki straight wig. This is from their Wear and Go collection. It's 24 inches and 180% density, so it's pretty thick and full. This is supposed to mimic a textured silk press or a fresh relaxer, which looks way more realistic than my silky textured wigs. I'm in love with the length, the density, the color, and of course, you get realistic parting space on this wig. I'm 5'2". Anything on me longer than 18 inches is a bust down. This is a good wig for when you want to step outside and turn some heads. Inside the wig, you get the adjustable straps and a removable one, as well as a nape comb. The lace is mind-blowing. Y'all see how well they bleach the knots on this? Putting the wig on is a breeze. All you do is just put it on your head and brush your hair to your desired style. No glue, no combs, no nothing. Just the adjustable strap. As y'all can see, it is glueless. I don't have it glued down. And this is going to keep it on your head and keep it from shifting and moving. I'm just going through with my flat iron. This is one I got from my local beauty supply store. And I'm going in and just straightening it. It's already straight. Like, you don't even have to do this. I just wanted to curl the end a little bit. And my heat setting on the flat iron is 450 degrees. I don't know. I find it really, really satisfying when I just straighten hair, even though it doesn't need to be straightened. I guess it's just that added layer of security that the style is being set in. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm just going through and just making sure the ends are bumped. I want to show y'all how well this wig looks up close. Like the top of it, y'all know when you get wigs, it's a bunch of little stick up kids on the top. Y'all, this wig is so flat. There are no stick up kids. There are no little flyaways. There are no beards of the wig or the, of the weft showing. This is like probably one of the best bust downs I've ever had. Instead of putting heat on my kinky straight units, I would wear this yakky straight texture. This is supposed to mimic that length and that texture, but just more sleek and more straight. To me, a new wig is like a new canvas for a hairstyle. As y'all can see, the parting is so crazy on this. I'm going to go in and I think I'm going to do like a side part swoop just to really switch up my style. I'm always like a middle part girl, but I feel like a side swoop would look so cute on this, especially like a 90s inspired side swoop. I have the fan on because it gets hot in the bathroom, but y'all can see how well the hair blows. It's not stiff. It's really lightweight and feather flowy. I will not be doing any major layers in this since it is a bust down. I'll just do some really light layers, but we're going to do a curl test. I did have this up at the highest heat setting and this thing takes and holds a curl very well. So I can only imagine if I were to go in and actually do some styling on this with the curling iron. Here I'm doing it up close because I want y'all to really see the texture. And also, it's not extremely shiny. You know, when you get a very shiny wig, it looks very wiggy, almost synthetic. Well, you're not going to get it with this wig. You're definitely going to get that natural sheen. What beef do y'all have with kinky and yaggy hair? Let me know in the comments because I just don't understand why a lot of people won't wear yaggy or kinky texture. Like, they turn their nose up at this texture for some reason. The wig is true to density. Um, it's 180% density. I also like how the ends, they're not straggly. Y'all know sometimes you'll get straggly ends on a wig. But this time, I'm going to go in and I might cut them a little blunt. If you like what you see and you want to get this wig, be sure to check out the product card above the video description. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Go ahead and follow me if you haven't. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the next video.